Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about Yummy, which I found streaming on Amazon Prime Video. I think it might have been on Shutter as well. Regardless. So the movie does centralize around Allison and Mikhail who are going to a surgical hospital that specializes, it seems, in youthful rejuvenations and plastic surgery and Allison's mom is also coming along as she decided to get like a little nip and tuck as well. Um, Allison is going for a breast reduction and reconstruction and uh, Mikhail is just the very supportive boyfriend just toting everyone along. It kind of seems like Allison's mom's not maybe the biggest fan of him but that it is what it is. So of course um, zombie outbreak because there is an experimental anti-aging treatment or process that they're trying to um, perfect and of course it turns turns people into zombies so we start out with you know patient zero and then it just kind of escalates from there we get to see you know people you know, in, in a typical zombie movie, I feel like it would be everyone getting ready to have their surgical procedures, not in the midst of having their surgical procedures or like very shortly after. So that was an interesting take on it that I thought. So, you know, the trio of them are trying to get out as well as bumping into other survivors or maybe just seeing um, the storylines of other survivors, you know, trying to get out of this hospital and out of the clutches of the zombies. So, without spoiling it, I'm going to go on to my likes. I liked that uh, the practical effects were really disgusting. I liked that, you know, there were some um, the mutilations and deaths that we have not probably seen in the past that were very interestingly executed. I don't want to give away what they were, but like when you see it, you're going to get very squeamish several times. Very good. Um, I, I like, I like zombie movies. I'm wearing a Dawn of the Dead t-shirt. I mean, like I was, I, I knew I was going to have a good time. Uh, I believe this, is this a Belgian movie perhaps some of it's subtitled some of it is not and they speak English which is interesting I thought it was cool that there was kind of a mix of both so you really did have to pay attention for some of it if you do not speak fluent Belgian but that's fine um, I liked uh, some of the little subplots between the characters um, Mikhail's kind of carrying a ring around that he wants to propose to Allison and I feel like he waits till possibly the worst and best moment to actually do it and she's kind of like really here right here so that that was funny um this is toted as a like a horror comedy I feel like there's a little bit more horror than actual comedy because without like spilling the beans the end of this movie is a huge downer I'm gonna say that like it left me feeling kind of like oh okay I need to watch something funny now um, what did I dislike about this movie I felt like the CG that was used was possibly the worst CG choices just not not good not in, in contrast to how nice the practical effects looked, it was like, it kind of took you out of the movie and you're like, what is this? Why would you do that? Like, just stick to practical. You did practical really, really well. Don't, like, F it up with this terrible CGI. Uh, I felt like some of the pacing, like, I understand they're in a hospital. There's very many floors and levels and subfloors, subfloors, like, the underground tunnels, like they in in ye old days, that's how they would transport, you know, back and forth to the morgue and everything. And I understand that a lot of hospitals have them, but like some of the the shots I felt were just like too long. Like you could have condensed a lot of it and kind of gotten to the point more. Um, I felt like it it left the end kind of like really open for me, the end of the movie which, like I said, I was a little bummed about, 
but I don't feel like it ruined the movie for me. Um, there's a, a subplot between one of the, I don't know if he's a, a tech or a nurse or what he does in the hospital between like him and like probably the, it looks like the charge nurse. I don't know what her actual title was, but she was like working right under the surgeon that there was a lot of tension between them and they built upon it a little bit, but like not enough. So it's kind of like why, I don't know if it was like a filler to pad out the movie or what, but I thought that was a strange choice. Um, all in all, I'd probably give this movie like a two out of five. I had a really good time watching it. This is one of those movies that I kind of like put on in the background or it auto played from something else I was watching while I was cleaning up and didn't really pay attention until, you know, you hear a lot of ruckus and you look at the TV and you're like, oh, that's, that's like a lot of zombies. I'm going to have to devote full attention to this. And I'm really glad that I did because I did enjoy the ride. I just, I need something to cheer me up a little bit now. But as I said, I found this streaming on Prime Video. I think it's on the Shutter app, but like I stream the Shutter app through Prime. So if I don't really look into it, then you know, but like look for it. You might be able to find a physical copy or if it's streaming on another platform. Let me know what you thought. Did you watch the trailer? Because I haven't yet. I probably should have, but I didn't get to it yet. I'm going to check that out too. Uh, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? What did you think about the weird sub stories between the characters? What did you think about the effects and the character development? Let me know. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Uh, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!